Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. This is episode 20. Last time we finished the base game, we destroyed the soul of Cinder uh, to get the uh, the Lord of Hollows related ending with, uh, with Yuria and all of the Hollows uh, greeting us as we rested the flame from its mantle, which was really cool. A little confusing on how to actually make that uh, work properly. I had actually accepted defeat that I had actually uh, messed it up because I thought that Yuria would have needed to survive being summoned. Uh, so luckily that was not the case um, and it still all worked out um, for the best, which was great. So we're at this point now where all we have ahead of us is the Ringed City, which I'm, I'm very excited to, to explore. Um, and the benefit of getting to the end uh, of the game with one location left is uh, being able to, at this point, uh, reach out to uh, my lovely mod team and being like, hey, did I miss anything? <laughs> and I did. Uh, there was actually one thing um, in the painted world that I have not um, that I have not encountered yet. So I've been given um, given a nudge by my lovely lovely mods to um, go on back to where are we? Go on back to the painted world. Go on back to the painted world. Um, and it's got something to do, and it was funny because as soon as I got this nudge, so I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, this is the hint that I got, is maybe you should go go back and check the bridge area. <laughs> and as and as soon and as soon as I got that hint, I was like, oh, what? Where have we? Where have we seen? Where have we seen a rope bridge before? Um, and what happened when we smacked the rope bridge? Um, well, it. It collapsed, didn't it? It collapsed, didn't it? Yep. Check that out. I picked the wrong side, by the way. I picked the wrong bonfire, so there you go. <laughs> I, th I was like, it's either going to be this end or that end. But there you go, there's a little pathway there. So actually, I need to go to the, to the chapel bonfire, but... Yeah, as soon as I got the hint of maybe you should go back and check the rope area, I was like, oh man, we've uh, we've done that before, which is how you get down to to Smoldering Lake, which was which was funny. Uh, so this also probably makes a lot more sense as to why there is a bonfire on each side, a bonfire on each side, <laughs> because now the bridge is out. I mean, I think it. When you rest at a bonfire, it, um, it doesn't it repair itself and you knock it down again? I think so. Yeah, it does. All right, we'll knock it down, knock it down properly from this end, <laughs> and we'll see where this leads. So this is something, this is something that I missed. But I think, um, I think I did pretty well, all things considered, to get to the to the end of the playthrough uh, with one place left to go and go. All right, I'm up to this point. Everything else has been done in regards to my playthrough. What's left? <laughs> like, uh, and they were like, "Yeah, so you know, you've, like you've done all of the bosses in the painted world." I was like, "Bosses? You mean like Father Ariandel and Sister Freed?" It's like, "Yeah, <laughs> it might be something else." So I'm ex I'm expecting a, a a boss encounter. So that's that's all I know about um, where we're headed. Feel bad for this guy. You just fell down and you just decided to chill out here. I'm not letting you get up and attack me. <laughs> oh. Oh. Cool. Oh, so we actually, we actually are getting down to this area. That's all like the the ice floor. Okay. I wonder if this is going to be near the. I wonder if this is going to be near where we faced off against the the pyromancer, but actually on the floor this time. Because we were desperately trying to get down there for a while. It wasn't working out. 
This looks similar. I just need to make sure that I avoid this goddamn archer. Is there another one? No. There is a lizard though. somewhere. Oh, god. <laughs> there it is. I hear another one somewhere. Oh, there's two archers now. I don't know where the second one is, but figure it out, won't we? I think they're both in a similar direction. Oh. oh no! Oh, that was lucky, but also I... I missed an item. Ah, oops. Okay. Oh. Right, I'm gonna go deal with this guy. Alright, we're on the we're on the ground. Are you gonna please drop down because don't shoot arrows at me? Come on. Come on. Oh, the other archer's all the way up there. Just need to kill him before he goes berserker mode. What is this? No! Giant enemy crab! <laughs> no matter where you go, you cannot, you cannot beat the stupid... Oh, no, two! So what do we got? We got normal, normal crabs. Normal crabs on the uh, Road of Sacrifices. We got fire crabs in the smoldering lake. And then we got ice crabs! <laughs> There's a bonfire! No! No! <laughs> Fucking crabs! Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, they're fucked! Honestly, the probably probably the standard enemy that I might have died to like the most, to be to be honest, or the ones that just uh, give me the most trouble is literally the literally the giant crabs. They give me the most trouble. Wonderful. Well, this gives me another shot. Gives me another shot at that item that was perched on that ledge. I might swing something a little, swing something a little lighter that might help. I should max out my claymore to be honest. Can't believe I didn't even think of this when I first came here. The, the rope bridge looks exactly the same as the one. It looks exactly the same as the as the rope bridge near the catacombs. So let's uh, let's let's theorize, right? Because we know we know that. It's got, there's a boss down here. But, I don't know what it is. I'm assuming it's going to be something ice related. I don't think there's been, there hasn't been any lore or items that I've read 
that has hinted at anything else being down here. It might... It might be uh, maybe like a strong version of one of those like those bird knights, those Corvian knights that we've been fighting. They could be like, was it a? Gi what if we face off against a giant frozen eagle, Corvian eagle that just shoots ice from the air and it sucks? That could be a cool thing. But it doesn't feel like we'd be fighting against like a flying enemy if we're going all the way down here. So who knows? For all I know, it's a giant frozen crab. It's just an even bigger crab. <laughs> it takes a while for that to, to allow me to descend. Love how my cape realistically <laughs> stays in the air. Alright, let's try not getting hit by the arrow this time. Could have just dropped down here the whole time. Ah yes, the old hitting my sword on walls thing. I haven't had to deal with that for a little while. Um, so if I run this way... Now the other archer was... Ah, oh, The other archer's there. Can I even get to... I can, we can run up there. That man really just ran out and said, please backstab me. Alright, we'll go this way first. Now, I can, I think, the way that we can do this, which is a problem with the other archer, but I think if I drop down onto... see if we can get this right. Nope. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this right. And the answer is no, we cannot. I was going to see if I drop down on a branch, run up. There's one you can drop down. I actually think it's easier just to let him be. I actually think it is easier just to let him be. And we might just do that. So we'll get, we'll get down to the bottom where there's a goddamn bonfire. We won't interrupt the crabs. We won't interrupt the crab, so I can actually activate the bonfire, and then I don't have to do this anymore. <laughs> I do want to try and get that item, though. Maybe, oh hang on, maybe what I might do just for this segment, because who knows, maybe I might actually survive, probably not, but let's put on our silver cat ring, that prevents damage from falling, who knows, I might actually survive, worth a shot I'd say, come on then, oh, not do as much as I thought it was going to do because he was blocking. Will I be able to avoid the dude who's going to throw a spear? I don't know. Oh, okay. That's what I wanted to do. And if I go here and avoid the dude who's going to throw a spear at me, and then if I drop onto this one, yeah. Now I said I was going to ignore him, but then what if I just. Oh no! I'm so stupid! Oh, hang on. I brought him down with me. Okay, we're okay. I brought him down with me. And now I'll deal with this guy. Okay. Now, without the stress of him... Oh my god. And then... 
because it looks like there's actually another pathway. Alright, there's a branch here. So it's not just an enemy. Oh no, please. Aww. What? That's so disappointing. It's just the way back? <laughs> oh, there's not even like an item up here. What? It's just a way to get back to the ladder. That's so weird. Not worth it. Okay. Where's that item? Okay, it's on that branch. Nice, follow us. Oh! Okay. Nice. Is there something here? Or is this just... Something else, what is this? Oh, that's just okay. It's nothing. Oh, why did I even drink? Didn't need to. Don't berserker mode me. Alright, we're falling down. We're gonna do a bit of this. Okay, uh, so we got a... Follow a... Was it? Hang on. Follow a javelin. Kinda... I was in a desperate... It was a follow or something. And I was in a desperate... There, yeah, follow a saber. Great curved sword wielded by Farron followers. Its great weight enables heavy chain chain attack. Heavy handed chain attacks. God, I just read two words at the same time. The followers brandish their swords to hunt warriors taken by the abyss. Their technique is honed to face men, implying those yet to lose their human aspects are the likeliest prey. Go away. Depths of the painting. Alright. So we actually can go on right onto the ice floor. So, at the, you know, when we got to Pyromancer Place, which was, I'm assuming, around here? Yes? Yes! Okay. And I was like, how the hell do we get down? And there's no ladder, there's no nothing, but... Okay, that's looking like a likely place to drop. So we can either drop down here, or go through the crabs, so... Let's see if we can drop down here. Yes. Nice, because what I was when I when we got up there and we were facing the pyramids, it's like it looks like we can get down here. Can we get onto the tree like that one? I was like, no. I feel like that would have let us down a bit more. Whoa! Oh! Champion's grave tender. Whoa. I need stamina, guys. Leave me alone for a sec. Champion's Grave Tender? This is a boss? What does that symbol mean? Grave tender. Who's the champion? I was out of stamina recovering from that attack. What's that? 
Oh, he switched up to a... Oh, good. There's a wolf howling. Sh Grave tender. Grey wolf! Whoa! Holy crap. I know, you switched to a goddamn spellcaster. Fuck me. Ice wolf, baby. stronger too oh my god I was gonna say I was like this isn't much of a boss fight but there you go that's why oh dude I should take off my silver cat ring Killed your master. Oh, they, you can tell that they learnt a lot from fighting against uh, from their days of uh, of Sif going up against Sif because Sif was pretty uh, not the most challenging boss fight. It was pretty easy to like walk around a four-legged enemy. They've made the wolf like wolf-type enemies so much more ferocious. This is wild. Ooh. <laughs> Grave Tender Great Wolf. Nice. Well, at least we're close to a bonfire. Not what I expected, and I'm actually glad that a wolf has come in on the fight, to be honest. Because uh, at first I was like, oh, you know, get hit by an arrow. At first, I was like, oh, it's just going to be like a couple of wolves and a dude. So I was like, okay. Just like a cool little bonus fight down here. But no. There's a little more to it than that. Alright, so I need to be on the lookout eventually for a great wolf. I'm so curious about that grave, dude. That sword doesn't look like the sword that I've got, so I'm like, if there's a bunch of wolves, I'm like, it could be Artorius related, but the sword doesn't match. Because I'm wielding the sword. that shield. Okay, so when do you switch to there? Okay, so it's automatic. quickly get you out of here before it gets... There we go. Okay, there we go. This is a fitting, a fitting weapon to fight against a great wolf. What are you doing? What does that mean? Ooh, red eyes! Oh, why didn't it do that? Here we go. Oh. Damn. <laughs> Champion's Bones and Valor Heart. Cool. I thought that war that how was going to summon more wolves. So not even a soul, but champions. There we go. Champion Bones. It looks like ashes. 
Burn at Firelink Shrine to unlock undead matches. The charm, the charred but warm bones of a champion. Burn at the Firelink Shrine bonfire to participate in undead matches. Long ago, an undead declared a fight. A fight to celebrate their undeath and to preserve what remained of their souls. So it was that the undead matches were born. The merit of an undead is measured in deaths. Could there be a greater gift for such a creature than a fight that has no end? Undead matches sounds like PvP. It sounds like in um, Dark Souls 1, after we defeated Artorias, there was that fog wall that went into like that area with all the blue flame bonfires that was all like doing PvP matches. So I think we just I think that's what that is. Uh, and then we got Valorheart. So it's a special straight sword that also has the shield with it? That's awesome. Weapon once wielded by the champion of the undead match, a special paired set consisting of a broadsword and a lion shield. The champion fought on without rest until he lost his mind. In the end, only his page and a lone wolf stand at his side. Lion stance. While in stance, use normal attack to thrust forward with shield up and strong attack to execute a shield bash with a lion's roar. It's weird that it's a lion shield when he's surrounded by wolves. Like, a wolf shield would be cool. So what does that look like? Oh, how weird how weird is that that I have the so I have the shield on my back but I'm wielding another shield that I can block with but then I you assume the stance and you pull that's cool that's awesome actually huh, that's sick can you ah and then this is and then this is two handing okay so you can't two-hand the sword itself, but you can... That's really unique. I actually really like that. That's awesome. Alright, let's check out the grave. Oh, it's nothing. Okay. I was like, I was wondering if they would have a, like a lore implication, but it looks like it was like PvP related. That's so cool. So it was like... A boss, but like, like a half boss. But the wolf coming in, you just need to make sure that you get them both out of the, that dude out of the way as soon as the wolf comes in. Well, there you go. That's the that's a part of the game that I missed. Champion's Grave Tender, um, and I think we can still check out this area by the crab. So we'll check out the crab area. I'm assuming it's just going to be crabs. <laughs> Uh, and then we can proceed to the ringed city. So a neat little, like, tucked away, neat little tucked away boss. That was pretty cool. Now, where the hell did this sec- where the hell does the second crab come from? Because, I swear it just comes out of nowhere. It does come out of nowhere. It comes out of the fucking ground, for God's sake. Fucking hell, the, the fucking demon brothers that I fought in the drag heap were easier than these two. Prepare to get frostbitten, I say. Oh, yep. Don't forget the archer! Me. <laughs> It's like, it's just the fact that their attacks, um, it's because one of them attacks and then the other one, their attack comes down in my window to attack, so having them together is pain. So close to getting one of them. Stop it, guys. <laughs> Every heal is a loss! No! <laughs> I'm just glad that there's a bonfire right here, so it's fine. Like, Alright, let me stuck let me stick on my big boy sword. I need the big boy sword. I don't need it, but I want it. <laughs> For these stupid ass crabs. Alright, come here. 
Come on. Why did I die? Can I quickly kill this crab before the other one is ready to fight? Probably not. That's <laughs> fucking god. God damn it. Here's my fancy spin move that I'll just completely miss. The fact that they run at me. <laughs> This is me like anticipating they're like doing a charging move so they'll be within my vicinity and then they don't. Okay, there's one. I think it's just hilarious that they just don't stagger. That's kind of the fight. Like you can stagger them and like hit them, but it's it's very <sighs> very difficult to do. You ain't shit without your friend, are you? It's just the fact that they they literally have a strength in, with numbers mentality. God. Okay. Crystal gem. No more. No more crabs, please. No more crabs. Alright, what's down here? Oh, it's one of the, it's the stupid trees. No. Oh. No. No. Okay. Home and bones. One of the spells left behind by the young sorcerer Sullivan before leaving the painted world creates a cloud of near-freezing mist. Sullivan was born and raised inside the painting, yet had little use for his frigid homeland since he had not yet experienced loss. So we've read that a similar description of uh, Sullivan being here before. Okay, so a little tucked away segment revealing that. Lovely! Okay, painted world. Uh, the depths of the painting have been explored. Lovely. Let's level up. Ashen for me. Very well, then take. She wants me to link the first flame so badly when I've already wrested the, the fire from its mantle. Oops. Oops. Ashen. Sorry. Sorry. Ah. Uh -huh. Um. Right, so I don't give her the bones. Oh no, it says I need to burn it at the fire link shrine, right? So I can burn it in the fire. Q. Let's buy some more stuff with the souls that I have left over. Um, what do I like the look at? Should I buy a Smo's armor? I want the fire link set for sure. Actually. Ashen. Ah. Well, if I'm not going to if I'm not going to use these souls for what for the things that they give me. I may as well cash these in because I'll just, you know, I'll get them in New Game Plus later. 
Um, there's stuff that I do want, stuff that I don't really want. I think the Deacons of the Deep didn't really have anything that I wanted, so I might just sell that. Can't remember what Aldrich has. I think he has like he has like the bow and something else. All in the name of the filing set. Oh, I'm two thousand souls short. Ashen one. Looking at uh, looking at the filing set. <laughs> And then looking at the front cover of the game really uh, really hits different. Once you've gotten to that point, you're like, oh wow, they literally had the Soul of Cinder on the front cover <laughs> this whole time. Which I think is really interesting. Alright, we don't have the... We don't... That's fine. What pants are we wearing? Lorian's leggings. What else have I got? Okay, so the Firekeeper set has that little has the little skirt. That's cool. Nice. All right, for now we'll rock with that until I can get the the leggings. I love this. I love the the look of this this helmet though. Check that out. The weird looking crown thing on the back and like the mouthpiece almost. That's really sick. I love it. Um, can I reinforce some weapons with my leftover souls? As well? Ah, just what need. I know that I should save them to get those pants, but I'm not desperate. Uh, reinforce. Claymore just needs some Titanite chunks, of which I have many. And then what was the other thing that I was looking at? Profane Greatsword. I still need Titanite scales, so that's fine. Let's do this, and then let's do this. Cool. Alright, so we maxed out our Claymore. Pretty like that. <laughs> Difference. Okay. 255 plus 267. Obviously, not as strong as this big boy, but still a viable weapon, and it's a lot. Uh, it's a lot lighter to swing around um, because 255, 267, 254. Yeah, like it's similar to. Well, it's it's better than Wolf Knight's great sword that we've been swinging around. I'll rock with it for a little bit. We've done, we've swung around Guts' sword for a very long time. Let's burn the champion bones. So we can now do an undead match, and that is probably when I can start, you know, actually going online and doing some stuff. Now that the playthrough is over. So there's no risk of me having my blind playthrough ruined. go. Alright, so I'll be using the flag that we, we'll be using the flag that we got. Small envoy banner. The ringed cliff for delivery. So we proceed through here past the demon princess. Go down the Ashen Tunnel. Oh, I think here's our cliff. There you go. Yep. Looks like it. Yep, display small envoy banner. Are we gonna have those creepy demon things take us away? Oh! I think it's that. demon things. <laughs> Come with me, sir. Whoa. 
So it's a city within the ring. Because when you have the ringed city, you're like, man, this could literally be anything. Like a city on like multiple rings or something is what I like. What I was envisioning in my mind of hearing the ringed city uh, was I had like this um, this image in my mind of like multiple rings and like cities on it. Like obviously, my imagination is going to be so much more wild than is probably what is even possible. But I was like, yeah. imagine like rings stacked on top of each other with like support platforms and like a city surrounding each ring, or like a giant city which is like a ring like um you know like halo <laughs> we just have a have a halo level where it just goes around forever but this this is much more uh this makes much more sense so it's a city within a giant um ring wow and it's overgrown as well the ringed city This game has like you an enemy? No. <laughs> it's like you're almost about to get clapped. Hark. They brought thee here, did they not? Dost thou the gods serve? Or merely that role affect? Just pretending. Um Let's say let's say that we serve should we say that we serve the gods? <laughs> A lie. A wretched lie. Well, I mean, it is a lie. How wouldst one such as thee do service to the gods? Thy scheme is known to me. I know what it is thou desirest. The dark soul. No? Why else wouldst one deign to visit this dung heap? Give rest to thy falsity. I would be an ally to thee. <laughs> <laughs> if it is the dark soul thou desirest, then seek Filianor's church at the base of the cliff. The there dark soul. Wilt thou the sleeping princess waken. Her slumber is a deceit, a lid covering an overgrown privy, a prop to keep thee from the dark soul of thine desire. So this is related to the pygmy, the ring city. <laughs> Worry not, I am a true friend to thee. Okay. If thou art yet human, the urge will soon begin to swell, to curse the gods and bring ruin upon this accursed heap of dung. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have said I was pretending. Oh well. So there's a princess whose slumber is a deceit. She she just faking it. She's just like when when you walk in uh, when you're playing Nintendo DS at uh, 3 a.m. and your parents go to walk in, mausoleum lookout. She's just pretending. Fucking joking? Uh... What? Uh... <laughs> Hide for dear life, holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? 
Um, shit. Oh, how dare you? Ah! This is fucked. <laughs> this is fucked. Oh shit. Nope, not that way. Uh, where should I go from here? Should I just? Oh no. Is there a fire breath? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why was there a fire breath as well? Dude, that was like, yes, you made it. To your doom. Oh my god. Okay. Great. Stop that. Should I run into that little doorway then? Yeah. Ah, go away! Fire breast! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Just be like, yes, let's summon, let's summon a whole army of ghost archers. Oh, you're really gonna put my soul right out in the open there for me to get my blood stain. Oh, hang on, there's a pathway down here. Do I need to go down that way? Pathway! Oh no! Pathway. Hell yeah. Have I avoided it? Nice. Come here, you. Um, oh, they're coming. He's coming for me. So that's fucked. So there's something there that's summoning a bunch of goddamn ghost archers. <laughs> And then also, if I dare to get close, if I dare to get close, it says, hey, would you like to have fire breath? You got it. Oh my god. I think we're onto something here. Oh, there's the fire breath. Look at that. Oh, it's one that's summoning a dragon head. Okay, like a dragon. Uh, okay. So I can I can avoid that. That's cool. Like running up here. All right. You're gonna get fucked up. Oh no! <laughs> I mean, I didn't think all of the arrows would get me. Come on, bud. What a beautiful place. What a beautiful place. Good 
everybody. Okay. Uh, we're still just at a bit of a question mark because I know how to get to him. I don't know how to get to him without getting shredded. I don't want to turn into shredded cheese, so... I think we might have to go through the doorway. There's a whole bunch of items to get. Oh, okay. Well, we don't have to go through the doorway. Oh! Unless there's a... No! What the fuck? Okay, hold on. Oh, we wanted to quickly check for invisible walls. Okay, why does it summon a... F this is fucked up. Get me out of here, okay. Oh, wait, that's interesting. Hold on. Can he only summon... He only summons... A, if he summons the enemy in here... If I'm in here, he summons an enemy. Wait, if I'm in here... Okay, now... No! I'm gonna hit you, bitch! Oh, why'd have to be so strong as well? Oh, what the fuck? How do I take cover? Take cover! <laughs> oh, this is fucked. Okay. Oh! Oh, he's only summoning... Okay, he's only summoning one for close range now. Oh, uh, shit. Ah! Ah! Don't you get into it, too. You're just supposed to be the weird summoner guy. Stop it. Oh, no. No! 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 We killed each other. <laughs> no, we died together. Oh my god. For god's sake. Mutually assured destruction. If I can't live, neither can you, except jokes on you. I lived, bitch. What happens now? Is he still there? Oh, he's still there. <laughs> okay. So he's not even... What the fuck? I was like, cool, once we defeat him, we'll be able to get through here without getting it killed by ghost archers, right? No. Well, how the hell am I supposed to get these items that are up here? Oh! Oh, well, I guess I can do it after I kill the guy. But this time I need to actually survive. <laughs> okay. So there's, there is a plan of attack here, and it relates to me needing to... Run up and stab him at the right time. See, so summons his fucking archer boys. Now he'll summon. Yes, so now he'll summon defenders. Oh! <laughs> oh god. Just ran right into that hammer. He'll summon archers, and then he'll summon archers. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, this dude, he's he's got he's got something going on. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh my god, why must this guy exist? Okay. This would all be over if I was an archer myself.
Oi. Of here, oh my god, no, 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 oh. as if that like the they stay the whole time. Okay, we did it. Look at him sitting on his little sitting on his little ledge. We did it. I have achieved victory. I don't know if he will stay dead now, oh, or whether he will come back, but we must make sure we clear out this battlefield. Okay. An ember. Alright, let me do that. Cool. Titanite chunk. Is there anything else around here? It's funny because you want to walk down this area and be like, wow, this area is so beautiful. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then you're just getting absolutely wrecked. So it's gonna be it's gonna be like that, huh? Ring City. Be going in here. Oh, that's on its own pathway. I don't think we're getting up there. Looks like we can get in there. Let's go down this way. Oh, we're going in there. Check that out. There you go. Many of us are by Ooh. the fire. Jesus. <laughs> I speak of thine kind and mine. Behold this city. We are kindred, but like two eyes which gaze upon the other. Fear not the dark, my friend. Kindred. And let the feast begin. Why are you like half bug, half creepy man? And why do you have to like stand in such a pose that's terrifying? But people are like, ah! <laughs> but why? Try and make yourself look a little more approachable. One. I know that's pretty hard. A wayfaring knight on an endless forbidden search. Only the abyss granted closure, if not reunion with his beloved. Fear not the dark, my friend, and let the feast begin. Huh. Okay, that's an interesting statement you just made. Many of us are by the fire, forsaken. I speak of thine kind and mine. Behold this city. We are kindred, but like two eyes which gaze upon the other. Fear not the dark, my friend, and let the feast begin. One was a, a wayfaring, wayfaring knight on an on endless an forbidden only search, only this granted, granted closure. closure. If only not reunion, fear not the. Okay. I don't know if he's talking about Artorius or not. Which, by the way, to close that really long, uh, this was a few episodes ago, but I remember talking about um, <laughs> uh, these rings and being like, man, I can't remember who the hell the fourth knight is. Um, and that's because I forgot that Artorius was the fourth knight, because I related all of the Artorius stuff to, like, all of the Abyss and, like, going after, like, uh, Dusk and saving all the seal and stuff, and I to and, like... The part of the lore that he was one of Artorius's knights uh, completely um, slipped my mind. Sorry, Gwyn's knights. Um, that Artorius was one of Gwyn's knights completely slipped my mind. So it was a uh, Ornstein, um, Goff, um, Kieran, and Artorius, which makes so much sense. So because three of them uh, were in the past in Ulysseal, but I just find that hilarious that I was. Literally running around in his clothes for ages, being like, who the hell is this guy? Ah! What if we fucking trying to push me off for? What the fuck? Fuck you. <laughs> Just literally like, ugh! <laughs> trying to push me off. Stop that. I will not be pushed, sir. I will push you off instead. Why can't you be more like the putrid bug man upstairs? At least he was kind to me. He didn't try and push me off a ledge. No. 
goodbye. A purging stone? No. Goodbye. Ah! Where'd you even come from? No. Thank you. Okay. Ringed in a wall. Oh, we got more of the, uh, we got more statues that have, like, the King Seeker heads. Interesting. Okay, we can go down there. It's not open from this side. Classic Dark Souls. Why am I getting cursed? Oh, is it just you? You look smelly. Just remember, guys, if you walk past someone on the street and you see them, you, their odor is literally physical, you will get cursed. They got, they got smelly body odor. Watch out for that. That curse is going down so slowly. Um, maybe... What I might do in that case is I might be able to take off the Chloranthi ring and instead of Shield of Want, uh, I'll chuck on Flesh Bite. And then instead of Shield of Want, I'll use Grass Crest. So I can still get my stamina boost. I'll just get better resistance on stuff. Like this stinky fella! No! Oh, right in the chest. Oh! Jesus, that was rough. Okay, so I've got people just wanting to drop down and murder me. That's good. I'm the Lord of Hollows. you got to respect me, baby. Oh. Why do these enemies always just look so fucking badass, dude? Look at that thing. Oh! Bruh. Oh. <laughs> it looks like a dark wraith, but like... Dark Wraith with a cool hole in his chest. Oh. Okay, he's almost gone, and so am I. Oh, I meant to press it twice. That's fine. Ooh. Oh, a ringed knight. Okay. I suppose that makes sense. We're dealing with the whole ringed thing, aren't we? Ringed knight armor. Malformed black armor of the ringed knights. The armor of early men was forged in the abyss and betrays a smidgen of life. For this reason, the gods cast a seal of fire upon such armor and those who possess them. Yo. I gotta say. That actually is like one of the coolest fucking things I've ever seen. Look at that. Notice how that looks similar to the... That looks similar to the eclipse that we've been dealing with this whole time where it's like... It has the stuff coming down from it. That's actually very interesting, that it looks very similar to the, to the Eclipse. And it goes really well with this helmet. Nice. Fuck yeah. We look cool. Let me chuck my... Should I chuck my big boy back on? I'm just having fun using some different weapons, to be, to be fair. This attacks the, this attacks the same as, yeah. I'm having fun using a, a different weapon for a change. You there. Get away from me, stinky. He tried to jump on me. Oh. 
course they give me literal shit. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, can you stop? What are you doing? Oh, maybe I should have locked on. What the fuck? Such a beautiful place and overgrown. I can see why. All of you guys are disgusting. You don't even take care of yourselves. Get a haircut. What are you doing? No! What is, what is that? Fucking turtle boys. I think that turtle shell is going to protect you. Ooh. I'm going to stop. How many of them are there in here right now? Ah! Get off. Out of my sight, and I want to see you again. Disgusting. Blessed gem. So we got silver knights on the wall as well. I wouldn't call these beings blessed. Ah, oh, how dare you! How dare you not fall! Uh, we can drop down here, or we can go down the sensible way. Shields that these knights have. Oh my god, stop. Oh. Alright, where's this? Where are you? I'm trying to have a fight with a knight here and you're ruining it. Where the fuck is that? I can hear you. Running around like crazy trying to find it. Fuck it. Ah! Oh then. Can they? Stop that. Ah! Ah! No! No! <laughs> no! Fucking! I can't wait to find that dude. Ooh, you know what? Maybe I should put on an item discovery ring because I kind of want to, kind of want to get their full armor set. They look great. Where? Okay, are you out here? Is it you? I think it's that one. God damn it! Stop. Where is it up? Is it above? Oh, hang on, this, uh... Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, fuck's sake. I overshot it. Thank you. Thanks, game. Thank you, Dark Souls. Should I try that one again? I think I could resist the curse if we chuck on a bit more item discovery. Come on, Stinky, drop down from there. The curse doesn't go up that quickly. I know that there's one there that's going to try and drop on me. There you are. <laughs> Shit. 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 <laughs> I got the problem! I got a bit of a problem here! <laughs> fuck off! What the fuck? No! Oh, 
I'm gonna I'm about to lose that 57k souls. I'm prepped. I'm prepped myself for it. I'm about to lose it all. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Stop! 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 No! Oh, he just tried to push me. No! <laughs> okay, guys, settle. Holy shit. My god, alright, so that's all of our flasks. Flasks just uh, gone there. Yeah. still have our souls to collect. We still have our souls to collect. Game's making me sweaty. Palm sweaty. Oh my god, you stop that. Right this instant. Now... Yep, I meant to do that. Oh, nice, they're here. Can you not? Oh, that's a heal. Okay, now. We made it! It was hidden in here. Fuck you. Twinkling Tide Knight. Okay. And now there's a knight down here. Is there a better... Is there a safer way? Or is it... We just... Can I get the drop on him? No. Yes, I can. Haha. <laughs> Take that. And that. And that. And that! And that! Give me your armor, I don't want Titan Nine Chunks anymore. We've moved beyond that. Okay. This way. Let's get on this bridge, because there's a stupid ass dude here. Oh my god! Two of them! Why two of them? So, same enemies from the drag heap. We have multiple. <laughs> we have multiple directions to go. That way. Oh god. Up there? Or down there? Two flasks to my name? I'll stop at you. Oh, There's an item being blocked by one of them. Oh, what the fuck? I mean, I tried. I tried. I was stuck and I'm like, okay, fuck. There's someone that I can talk to there. What the hell? <laughs> like, cool. I can talk to someone. Probably not a good idea to initiate conversation when being chased by a giant dude with a machete. Like a giant weapon. I don't have I don't have the most amount of confidence ever that this is going to work, but there is always you know the 
possibility that it might work. Is anyone going to come after me right now, or can I have this conversation? Speak thee the name of God, thine own God, if thou canst recall. Ooh. Ah, then thou's not forgotten. Perhaps tis why we may converse. I am known as Shira, servant to the Princess Filianor, matriarch of the church. I have to have the conversation later. Surely can't. No, nope, we're going to have to have the conversation later. I'm so sorry. God's sake, I didn't think they would come all the way up, but here they are. They're so rude! Ow. Oh my god. Get off the get off the thing. Just get off. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Just kick kick him off the goddamn bridge so it buys me some time. And it didn't work. Okay. We got our souls back, so there's a conversation with that lady. And we can we can have that conversation. I just need to get rid of these stupid big boys. Their attacks are ridiculous. Nice fire, fl flame sword you have there. Be a shame if I couldn't be bothered. Hello everyone. Fancy meeting you here. Okay, I'm suffering the effects. Okay, I'm suffering the effects now. Okay, I get it. I need to just get outside. They can't get me when I'm outside. Yes, they can. That was a joke. Actually, it's even worse. There's a tiny little staircase there, actually, to the left. Oh my... Dear Lord, I've just made it. I've just made it even worse for myself. I've just made it even worse for myself. These guys don't even. Oh, okay. 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 It's actually this sword is actually doing worse for me right now. Push me, bruh! How dare you push me?
Come on. No, come down the come down the staircase so I can get the drop on you. There we go. Fuck you. Oh my god, only for there to be another one. Oh, that didn't work out anywhere near as well as I thought it would. No idea how I may even managed to survive that, but we did, so let's just not talk about it anymore. <laughs> Harold Legion armor, nice. Okay, shall we continue this conversation that I was having? Speak thee the name of God, thine own God, if thou canst recall. Queen. Ah, then thou's not forgotten. Perhaps tis why we may converse. I am known as Shira, servant to the Princess Filianor, matriarch of the church. They who are kin to God's name are surely kin to the terrors of the dark. Please, I bid thee take not from the princess her peace or rest. Interesting. As the fire waneth, does she lie by the dark, all for the sake of man. So, creepy dude that we first met was like, her sleep is a deceit, don't fall for it. And we got Shira, who says, don't wake her up please, I'm her servant. Thou'st a kind heart. Speak to a captive such as I. It is no surprise thou rememberest our God. Shira. May I ask thee a kindness? Perhaps thou hast beheld the lone dragon that inhabited this city. Nope. Medea is his name. And the arch dragons are his forebears. Ooh. He once railed against the dark, but was by dark afflicted. Now here, returned, he remaineth. To watch over the sleeping princess, true to the old accord. And yet, I would have thee put the dragon to rest before the dark consumeth him and his vows are forgot. Wow, okay, so we're going to be taking on a dragon. She's like, have you seen the, the dragon? Nope, this is the first time hearing about it. So there's a lone dragon, Medea. Cool name. I offer my sincerest gratitude. Thou who art kin to God's name, please, take this. Are we going to end up in the same situation where we did the Dark Souls 1 DLC and we'll be taking on goddamn Calamite? <laughs> I have asked a thing most terrible of thee. May this token of thanks be of aid. Sacred Chime of Filianor. Sacred Chime, blessed by Princess Filianor, Matriarch of the Church. Filianor's favor knows no boundaries, and this Sacred Chime expands the range of vicinity affecting miracles that heal, cure, or provide other enhancements. Works with Chime equipped in left or right hand, heal HP very slowly for a duration of time, affects caster, and those in vicinity. I beg of thee, put the great dragon to rest, afore the dark consumeth him and his vows are forgot. Wow. I beg it. Okay. That was an item here, wasn't it? Um, I'm gonna try and find another bonfire before we head back, because otherwise I have to do all of that again. So, I know the amount of souls that I'm sitting on. Oh! That is a flame-breathing shield. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Sir. Um, 
And there's also another area I want to check out next to this place, but we'll see where we are first. Invaded by Dark Siret Seeker of the Spurned. I'm not even embered. And I should have been, actually, so that's actually a good reminder. But I guess the DLC maybe just has you invaded anyway. Seeker of the Spurned. Where have we heard this before? Where have I heard Seeker of the Spurned before? Where even are you? Oh, there you are. Seeker of the Spurn, Dark Spirit. Where have we heard this before? Fuck. Oh! That second swing was brutal! That second swing was brutal. Um, Seeker of the Spurn. I can't remember where, off the top of my head, I can't remember where that's come from. Oh, that's rough. That one's a little bit rough. Okay, at least this time I don't have to kill those enemies to have a conversation with Shira. <laughs> Be like, hey, I'm looking for a bonfire. Uh, invader? No, uh, a bonfire. In invader? No. <laughs> no. Alright, I'm going to take another pathway before we go and take on Seeker of the Spurned. Two hand me, are you? Two can play at that game. Good dodge, sir. A good battle. Wolf Ring, plus three. Dark Spirit Seeker. I'm pretty sure that's the first Wolf Ring that we've actually gotten to. Because we have, yeah, we've got Leo, Hawk, and Hornet, but not Wolf Ring. Increases poise. Ring associated with the Abyss Walker Adorius, one of the four Knights of Gwyn, the First Lord, increases poise. So that's why I was like, in my brain, I'm like, who are the other people? Artorius had an unbendable will of steel and was unmatched with a great sword. That increased my poise um, to by like seven. Not bad. Black witch hat, garb, wrappings, and trousers. Okay, we got a black witch outfit. The purple hat of the witch uh, Zuli who intended to seduce Alva the Wayfarer, but eventually became his closest supporter, spending her entire life with him. The pointed hat is a symbol of heretical magical crafts, and Zuli wore hers with an unspoken but deep sense of pride. Interesting. It is said that Zuli the Witch, who was never loved, nor loved another, experienced all manner of misfortune, and yet in the end found her purpose in life. Crazy. Okay, Zuli the Witch set. Chilling out here with... Oh, it was Alva! Wasn't... That was... Um, Alva was the... Hang on. That was the Seeker of the Spurned, right? What's Alva's gear? Uh, where is the Alva set? 
No? Yes, protector, protection of Alva, Seeker of the Spurned. There we go. So that was the Alva set that we were the Seeker of the Spurned that we were fighting up against. That makes sense as to why Zuli uh, set there was associated with that. Perfect. Makes much sense. Gotcha. Just needed that to jog my memory a bit. Now there is. Where's the other one? Oh, you're both down there. Oh, yeah. Oh, rude. Come on, man. We're still in the middle of an animation there. I fucking hate Dark Souls, man! I fucking hate Dark Souls. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? That's so dumb. <laughs> Bruh, that first swing, I was like, yep, second swing. No. Fuck that. Oh, that's so stupid. That's so stupid. All I'm trying to do is go up this little pathway up to the left and then run past these dudes so we can find a bonfire because I know that we're close to one. Like, I know that we're close to one. Especially with like at this point with the amount of enemies that we've walked past. Like surely. This little pathway really just was nothing? Oh my god. It was just nothing, okay. Good to know, this is just gonna get me trapped and killed by these dudes. Oh, let's not do the exact same thing again, shall we? Kidding me, dude? Are you fucking joking? I'm so I'm so immensely glad that this isn't we're not going slow in this place. What the fuck? Are they talking? Oh! What the fuck is going on? Look, if I keep running, I will eventually find a bonfire, right? This is crazy. Okay, am I safe now? <laughs> Have I done enough running? Am I safe? Dude, I literally was like, we're close to a bonfire. I've probably run right past one with that in mind, though. Fucking... Okay, I'm so glad that this bug swamp hellscape isn't slow. Or poison. That's good. I like that. All, the, all of the white branches. Interesting... The white branches. Carrying precious cargo at the moment, you guys. I got a lot of souls. You need to chill out and give grant me a bonfire. Did 
please be in here. Are you kidding? <laughs> Church Guardian Shiv. Church Guardian Shiv. Oh, I thought it would be a weapon because it said Shiv. Um. Oh, it's an item. Ah, okay, that does make sense. Throw illusory blades that seek foes. This special throwing blade has a flat tip and is wielded by the guardians of the Church of uh, Philianor. Consume FP to project illusory blades which seek their targets. Guardians of the Church of Hume, few remain. Watch over Princess Philianor's eternal slumber along with the Spears of the Church. Would have thought that there might have been a bonfire in there. The answer was no, however. These guys better be dead. Don't wake up. There's also a giant fucking someone, something, roaming the swamp as well. What the f- Why the fuck is the old dragon slayer armor here? What the fuck? What? No, I can't. Not here. Not here. This is fucking ridiculous! Why is the dragon slayer armor here? Oh, please. Dude, I came here for a bonfire and all I've gotten is pain. Will we get to a point where you will leave me alone and we can do this later? I don't think so. I think you're going to chase me to the ends of the earth, aren't you? Alright, I'm convinced. There's a bonfire over there. We're going for it. It actually looks like it's just guarded by a bunch of knights. Yep, this is a problem. This is a problem. What the fuck? No! I'm at the end of my tether. I'm at the end of my tether. This is a joke. Ooh, hang on. Wait. Ooh, maybe? Maybe? Oh, it's the gate that's nice. It's the gate that was blocked from the other side. Oh, no, wait. That's a completely different bonfire. Nice. We did it! I was, I was committed. I was like, dude, I don't need to... I, we will find a bonfire. I just thought I'd done a weird 180 and ended up finding the gate that was locked on the other side from the first bonfire we are at. Okay, good. <laughs> cool. Worry not. My 173k souls survived. And that means we can now properly... We can now properly explore this area. All I needed was this. Ashen one for the link. Very well then take it. So there's a dragon slayer armor just chilling out there as well in the swamp with a bunch of ringed knights with a giant guy who's summoning whatever the hell he's summoning. <laughs> Ashen one. Ah. I will take your firekeeper pants, please. I want the fire pants. Thank you. I want anything else while I'm here. It's funny because the black hand hat reminds me of um, when uh, Guts in Berserk is uh, in his little disguise when uh, Griffith is doing his Tombstone of Flame chapter, uh, when he's doing his plan to kill um, the Queen, and Guts is all dressed up, and he's wearing his hat. Reminds me of that. 
I'm gonna buy that hat. We can we can make that we can make this set work. <laughs> One of these days. I like the look of this set as well. Let me buy some of those. Ashen one. Alright, let's put on my fire pants. Fire pants, there they are. Love it. Alright, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a quick break now that we've finally found a bonfire and gotten through that. Um, and then we will proceed to actually explore that swamp and the ringed city streets, uh, which is the area we just found. Uh, we'll explore that properly without running around carrying the mother load of souls. All right, let's jump right back into it, and we will travel back to the Ringed City Streets. Now, a rematch with the Dragon Slayer armor awaits us, as well as a huge swamp that is, um, luckily, not poison. Not poison. And uh, it doesn't slow you down. <laughs> so I think the first thing we should do is probably try kill the big one. Oops, that was a more of a drop than I thought. We should probably try kill the big. Oh man! Get out of here! I hate bugs. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Why are they like weird? human, like, they're like the weird human bugs. They got tiny, they got tiny heads. And then there's larger ones. Alright. Oh no. Oh, they sh they shoot through it. No. They shoot through. Wonderful. I was like, maybe they won't. Maybe. But no, they do. It's like, can you trick him to damaging himself? Again? No, you can't. And this is why we <laughs> needed to valiantly find a bonfire. Alright, so... <gasps> I was like, what? What was that roar? Hello! I think we found our Medea. I was like, what was that roar? Sees giant moving object in the distance. Oh! Hey guys. Preacher's right arm. Ooh! Oh, they're talking. I thought you guys were like friendly, like the other guy that we met all the way at the top. Turns out you're all bastards. Eat me. Bruh. <laughs> Chill. Okay. All of you, just get out of my life, please. Excuse me. Oh, I'm gonna try to use big boy on this one. How long do they shoot for? Too long. Oh, there's more. Oh, what? Someone's like. 
What the hell? Oh! Oh! Ooh! Holy shit! What kind of things that you got even got to summon? Come on! All right, get out of here. You're gone. Okay. Jesus. Okay. So they summon the arrows from a distance, but they don't stay there. Honestly, the funny thing is, is the smartest play for that big dude to do is to just summon the arrows and nothing else, because they are the ultimate. They're like the ultimate guard. Like they're literally the ultimate guard. They're much. They're much deadlier than. Um, they're much deadlier than the other ones. Am I killing like insect adult human guys and then a bunch of just insect children? Is this is is this what's going on here? I mean, they're being hostile to me first, okay? And they're being awful. Um This place is also huge. So again, this place has connections to the abyss. We've got like like dark crystal stuff going on as well. More uh, insect-like creatures. Fortunately, insect-like creatures. Oh no! <laughs> that wanna fucking eat me? And the easiest way to deal with that is to give him the old one-two smack in the face with the iron slab. Oh, there's a big staircase. Ah, oh, that's where we came from, I think. I think we came from that staircase originally. Nope. I'm cancelling it. Your attack has been cancelled. Okay, so I th yeah, I think that's where we came from, and we desperately just ran for our lives in that direction. Okay. Need to get bearings for where I actually am. Because I kind of desperately run out of here because some enemies come up from the swamp. Are they going to come up from here? No. Okay. Nice. I'm going to make sure that we explore this place properly. Ooh! God, Beyblades! I'm going to get killed. Let's not do that, everybody. Okay. Let's not. Let's not do that. This is the these. This is the problem with taking more damage, right? Like this is this is the problem. We get those increase in stats, but my god, are we desperately flasking at every opportunity. At this point, I'm almost, like, willing to swap it for steel protection. Drop my vigor, endurance, and vitality. I mean, they're pretty high up already. We're at 68%, if I chuck that on. It's not the worst thing I could do. Either that, I put my stamina ring back on and I take off my grass crest shield. Let's do steel protection. I want to see how that... We'll just experiment with it at least. I want to see how different that is. And we have a ladder. You want to get fucked up? One met the dark with learning but in the end learned his knowledge was wanting the world began without knowledge and without knowledge will it end does not this ring clear and true fear not the dark my friend and let the feast begin oh <clears throat> so some of them don't want to kill me and eat me but a lot of them do one poor girl slew her own kin, but even so, was embraced, enveloped by the abyss. It was a comfort that neither moon nor sunless sky afforded her before. 
Fear not the dark, my friend, and let the feast begin. 1. Met the dark with learning, but the world does not fear not and let... So we're talking about... Um talking about a man and a woman oh, you you bastard I'm not sure if I'm not sure if we know about them in the lore or not oh oh wow okay that goes in there oh oh I think we just found our way up to how how high up was Medea because I think we might have just found our way up Dude, this place is massive. Oh, we'll try and start at the very beginning. So this is the entrance to the place. Why did the friend have to join in? Oh, man. Oh, you lived? What? Yo, <laughs> yo. The survivability of these enemies sometimes when you're like, cool, I'll do these two attacks and they'll die. Only for them to be like, <laughs> clutch victory. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. So. Oh my god. The fact that it respawns make this really tough. Actually, maybe that's our way up to Medea. We just go up there. Ah, oh, so th hang on. This is actually different. That takes us up there. Okay. And then there's also the Dragon Slayer Knight at the end. Great. <laughs> what a nice place. What a nice place. Hopefully, we could avoid getting the big dude's attention. Because if he's just going to keep respawning... I actually ge genuinely got stuck. I genuinely can't believe <laughs> that those big dudes respawn. That seems like... So cruel. Ring tonight leggings, we're getting more armor. Nice. Good. Okay. Now can I go in this place at all? There's an item there. There's a pathway to be explored down here. Drop down there and take a look. I think there's an enemy because I can hear him making noise. Alright, let's go down. Ah, oh, it's another one. Yep. Just another one, huh? Oh. Of course, you'll manage to get a hit off as well. Check that shield out, though. Black Witch Veil. Makes the, when you go, when you ember while wearing the ringed knight set, it makes like the ring on the, the chest piece glitch. Um, got a ring, uh, Black Witch Veil. 
the purple veil of the witch Zuli, who intended to seduce out of the Wayfarer, okay? Zuli's veil was for travel and to hide her affiliation with the misunderstood craft of witches. Cool. So she's got a hat and a veil. Dude. Epic dragon battle? Check out how huge this place is as well. Like this city this city is very extensive. A lot of it seemingly abandoned. Oh, and there's also a pathway under that bridge. Okay, shall we go take on Dragon Slayer armor while we're down here? Make sure that we've got this place cleared. And then we can uh, take the pathway, which I assume takes us to him, and then maybe the big old bridge. Because we've explored over that way, because we like sprinted and just ran for our lives. So we've done, we've done over there, we've, we've gone in there. And then we encountered Dragon Slayer armor over here. see him what was he doing from a distance interesting he's just chilling like resting so i thought that the i thought that the dragon slayer armor was hollow and being controlled by a pygmy butterfly i wonder if we can approach nope there you go we can't approach without being we get seen by a, a long way away Why are you here, though? Shield bash. I wonder if we'll get another Dragon Slayer armor soul from this fight, which would be pretty cool. Oh, I took the full brunt of that recovering from my from my charged attack. Oh, he just, just fucking survived. That was supposed to be a cool finishing move, man. Oh. There we go. Oh, it's his full, oh, it's his full gear. Iron Dragon Slayer. Okay, this is different then. He's an Iron Dragon Slayer. Stark Melted Iron Helm of the Ancient Dragon Slayer Armor. The armor, defeated by the Champion of Ash in Lothric, was left ages to rust until it slipped into an abyssal swamp where it was possessed once again by the memory of the hunt. Okay, so that's how that works. Interesting. Defeated by the Champion of Ash. It weighs a lot, so yeah. it's a heavy boy. But yeah, I was wondering if we were going to get a soul again, and then I could have gotten the shield from the uh, remains of Ludleth.
Alright, well we've taken that out, and I think that covers... I know there's still items here, but it covers most of the swamp area itself. Then we can start focusing on... going elsewhere. other stuff is mainly just like soul of a crestfallen knight and stuff we got the phantom blades from in there let's avoid big boy in the middle and we'll just go around an item up there. Yeah, we'll go up there as well. And then we can go down that pathway. Oh, that's the dragon roaring. Let's have a look. Ringed Knight Straight Sword. Ooh, nice, their sword. Straight sword wielded by the Ringe Knights, the arms of early men were forged in the abyss and betray a smidgen of life. For this reason, the gods cast a seal of fire upon these swords and those who possess them. And then it's an embered attack. Cool. And so, she lived in fear of the dark, of the things that gnawed at her flesh. And yet, the abyss hath yet to produce any such creature. Fear not the dark, my friend, and let the feast begin. And so, despite his weighty armor, he lived in fear of a delicate thing, little more than a girl, where fire resideth, shadows twist and shrivel, but in the abyss. There are shadows, none. Fear not the dark, my friend, and let the feast begin. Okay, so there's a bunch of these random ones that are telling me these cryptic tales of these two people. Prism stones. Oh, this is the other pathway from the bonfire. Cool. So, from the bonfire, we can actually go down here. Preacher head. It's the head of one of them. That's disgusting. Uh, an empty head of a white-faced locust that rose from an abyssal swamp. The white-faced locusts were meant to be beckoned men. Were meant to beckon men to the dark with sermons, but most of them are unable to think past their own stomachs. Someone must rise to the occasion and restore the path of righteousness. Perhaps that someone is you. Did you not arise from the abyss? And did you not resist drowning in the age of fire? Locusts and men are kindred spirits. Oh. Some really interesting stuff going on here. That's for sure. Oh. Oh, no. oh, this is where we started. Right. Yep. 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 Dare you survive? <laughs> Honestly, the, the fucking cheek of it all. Okay. Um, cool. Well, what we can do then is rest at this bonfire and I'll level up with my souls. And we can go up that ladder. What I might do then is just. I'll just go back home. Just go back home. Ashen footling. Very then take. Ashen one. Okay. The 
current trend, level up and then spend the remaining souls <laughs> on armor that I want. Uh, where's the rest of Morn's set? Finish off his set. Big Boy Smo's set, maybe? At the moment, I'm mostly going for sets that I can actually wear that aren't too... that aren't too heavy. <laughs> I guess the assassin clothes go with the go with the black hand stuff, but not really. Ashen just, just cashing in. All right, just making sure we have no souls, because I think if we're about to take on a goddamn dragon, we all know how that goes. Terribly. <laughs> <laughs> Terribly, as usual. So two pathways is that giant bridge and then something that takes us to... Um, I, either one of these pathways will take us to Medea, so I'm not, I'm not certain on which yet. But we'll try this path that goes over this way first. Because last time I came down here, the knights absolutely cleaned house with me. And actually... down the bottom. Oh! Hang on. Where's the cursed person? Where are you? There you are. Stinky? Get out of here. Hmm. I actually think... Because we rushed... Yeah, we rushed out of here running away from these big boys. There is a little pathway down there as well. I'll have to check that out at some point. I get cursed. I was like, I'm almost gonna get cursed because I didn't lock onto him instead. I just thought I'd hit him. Ring tonight's spear. Lovely. Oh, this is the pathway. Oh, no! <laughs> Why did I attack? Oh, my curse! Oh, no! My curse. God damn it. They'll get you. They'll get you. Okay. Easy to get to. Um, I think we'll at least see what we're gonna do is we'll see where this path leads us. We'll see where this path leads us. Because there's two ways to go. We can go up there. And we can go down this way. Oh. <laughs> that. 
stupid ass lizard. Ooh. Who wants to? Who else wants to get knocked off that bridge? Because I'm more than ready. His item's not getting picked up. I ain't dropping down there. Oh. Um, so we dropped down there. And that's where we died. Souls are. And that's where this curse boy is. Oh, <laughs> for God's sake! Who was supposed to die? I'm gonna die here again. I'm gonna die here again. Because there's two of them. Can't believe I just fell for that same mistake twice. He was gonna die. And he should have died. Because <laughs> sometimes this, your strong attacks d clip through. Uh, like enemies do. Sometimes your attacks can clip through, and it generally has with, um, it generally has. Not that time, though. Not that time. What a shame. Stop. Beyblading at me. Yeah, we're gonna see where this pathway goes. Then we're gonna go home. Oh. Gotcha. This was calculated. You don't have to both be doing it. Oh, and there goes 77,000 souls right down the drain. There it goes. Cool. Well, that was the only reason I was going back there anyway. <laughs> it was to pick up my souls and get out. Now I don't have to bother taking on those stupid cursed dudes. Interesting. Interesting. In that case, now I can go the other pathway that takes us up here. There's a doorway that takes us up in there, so we'll check that one out. fault. Oh, it's okay. We're doing okay. The only thing at the moment is when I get that many souls, I'm like, oh yeah, we'll level up. But most of the time, it's just like we're just buying armor at this point. Okay. So let's see where this takes us. Invaded by Dark Spirit Silver Knight Lido. Oh wow, that's a big hammer. You want to go? I like how you can get invaded when you're not embered. Silver Knight. I kind of wish that that was how it was um, in Dark Souls 3 normally with NPC invasions. I understand why, but oh, but I do wish that. Because uh, I think we've, we've probably missed a couple. Ooh. Impressive hammer tricks, babe. But you're dead. That's a huge hammer. Lido's great hammer. Jesus. Let's give it a look. Great hammer wielded by the Silver Knight Lido. Lido's hammer is by far the heaviest weapon amongst those wielded by the Knights of Anor Londo. Lido, an eccentric who traveled across the outskirts, became a close friend to the giants and even Havel the Rock. Call to stone, spin to lore stones to the steel hammer and use strong attack to transition into an earth slam that shatters the stones in a shockwave. God damn. They got some they got some impressive hammer weapons in this game. That's a strength requirement of 60. Strength requirement of 60. Damn boy. 
Was that this this area just took us to that invader? <laughs> eh, an item of a Titanite chunk. Okay, nice. Uh, so that's a couple of invaders that we've found, which is cool. Is there any in secrets? Are there any secrets? I don't know. Um, I think. Okay, so that didn't. I thought we were going up on that bridge. I thought it would just take us for a ride. Um, I am mistaken. So I believe that means we should just be going straight for straight for Medea. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a straight walk in the park there, however. Um, so we'll have to see. run out here. <laughs> Hello. And go on this bridge, which, by the way... Oh, yeah. This is how we get down. I was like, there was an item underneath the bridge we saw earlier. I thought I heard footsteps. No! You're dead. Leave me alone. Goodbye. To the depths with you. Oh, nice. Dragon head, great shield. The shield, as hard as Great Boulder, is formed by the head of the descendant of an archdragon. The ringed knights, by command of the gods, stood amongst the ranks who set out to slay the dragons, but their contributions were never lauded. Dragon Roar. Even the descendant of an archdragon perishes not, and use of this skill restores its former strength, sending surrounding flows flying with a dragon roar. You need a little bit of faith to use it as well. Are you yelling at me? Wanting me not to approach. Oh my fucking. Oh! Don't push me back out! I'm looking for sa sanctuary! I'm glad that I dodged through that fire. Um, oh, it's coming back. <laughs> I was like, ah, no! I was like, where is it? Okay, it's coming back. Well, you can see when, where they've perished before. Oh, that's fun. You're not gonna make it easy for me to. Okay, you're gonna make it easy for me to do the trip, are you? Where are you now? Where'd you go? Alright, let's let it do it again. And we'll let the fire go out, and then we, I guess, sprint for our lives. Oh, great, rubbish. Oh, great, poo. Wow, they've fucked. Ooh, okay. Literal rubbish and poo. I'm like, okay, thank you. Thanks, game. Can I hide in this corner? Get out. Or have you stopped? Oh! Instant death. Okay. And these this stupid fucking hollow is trying to push me. <laughs> okay. Well, we know what we have to do. Run for your very life to get into that doorway. Um, I might, in that case, while we're here, is chuck on flame, stone plate ring. Could be the difference between life and death, and perhaps I should also ember to give me a little more health as well. through it. Just through it. And then, ah, oh, I missed an item. You can also drop down on that. Oh. Drop down here to avoid 
death. Oh, nice. Okay. Where did we die then? There's my. S oh, man. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's alright. It's not okay. Fuck you, dude. Oh, my God. And we're dead. We're dead. Potentially. Okay. We're not dead. We're dropping off the cliff again. I was going to drop off the cliff, but I didn't need to. Great. We made it in. <laughs> Somehow. I thought I was dead then. <laughs> it's full on going for that swing and everything. Dark spirit moaning night. Oh, great. Cool. Where are you? Oh, no. What the hell have I gotten myself into? So I've got a moaning knight coming for me. From which direction do you to do you challenge me? Down or up? Oh. It'll be up. Moaning knight, where are you? I'm supposed to fight you with a bunch of these things too. Right. Ha! <gasps> huh. You hit the fucking wall. Ooh, it's wearing no. Oh, we got the item anyway. <laughs> Blindfold mask, moaning knight. Looks like it was wearing um the armor that we recently bought. Uh, like it was a knight of Karim. That helmet looks like this one. Um, what did we just get? Blindfold. Where are you? An eye occluding mask of unknown origin, small cracks allow the wearer to see. Strengthens dark attacks, but also greatly increases damage sustained from dark. The purple steel creation has a certain resemblance to the fire creeper's crown, but the similarity is purely cosmetic. Interesting. Cosmetic recreation of the fire keeper's mask. Is this where we... No. Oh, this is where we came in. Okay. Um. Uh. Wait. How do we get to Medea? Oh. Have we got to do something else? I have to get... Interesting. Um, it's not in here that we have to go. Strange. Um, how do I get up to you? Great. That's interesting. Um, we're going to have to figure that out. We're going to have to figure that out. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know when. Um, but we're going to have to figure that one out. Uh, but I think what I might have to do is uh, I'm going to have to bring this episode to a close. Um, I'm sure that there, I'm sure that there's probably more lying ahead of us to to get to to get to our lovely Medea. We'll have to see how we go. There's more waiting for us, I'm sure. So we'll continue our Ringed City adventure uh, next episode, guys. So thank you so much for watching this episode, and I will see you next time.